Hi, I'm Kimberly Ennick, an aerospace engineer working here at the Propulsion and Performance Branch at NASA Dryden Flight Research Center. Wow, an aerospace engineer. What does an aerospace engineer do? I do flight test research on different types of planes. We actually put our experiments on real jet engines, install the engines in experimental planes, and then we go out and fly them. That sounds really cool. Add that to the career list. We're doing a project and we need to learn more about pulleys. We saw on the website that NASA uses pulleys to lift the space shuttle onto the back of the 747 plane. How can pulleys help lift the space shuttle? Well, to lift the space shuttle, they use the mate-demate device known as the MDD. The MDD is this large gantry-like steel structure where the space shuttle receives post-flight servicing and is prepared for the ferry flight back to NASA Kennedy Space Center. The MDD has two 100-foot towers that are connected at 80 feet by a horizontal structure. What does the horizontal structure do? It controls and guides a large lift beam that attaches to the space shuttle to raise or lower it. There are three large hoists or pulleys that are used to raise and lower the lift beam. Those must be some big pulleys. Yes, they are. The shuttle can weigh up to 232,000 pounds, but each of the three pulleys has a 100,000 pound lift capability. Operating together, the total lifting capacity of the three pulleys is 300,000 pounds. But, for safety reasons, we don't exceed 240,000 pounds. Wow, that's about 120 times. You're good at math. There are also two equipment pulleys built into each tower at the 60-foot level. Each pulley is capable of lifting 10,000 pounds. Sounds like pulleys can lift a lot of weight and are pretty important at NASA. What happens to the space shuttle once it's lifted? Well, the space shuttle is then placed on special mounts atop the fuselage of the NASA 747 shuttle carrier aircraft. It is then flown back to the Kennedy Space Center. The space shuttle actually gets a piggyback ride. About how long does it take? Depending on the weather, it usually takes one to two days.